Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is forever memorialized in countless pictures, but most are in black and white. But one Chicago area photographer took some of the only color photographs of King's historic visit to Chicago. WGN's Sean Lewis shows us the rare collection. They are photos taken more than a half century ago. It started in 65, 65. and 66. Of a civil rights leader in Chicago by a young man now looking back on the history that he captured. I didn't realize the significance. Bernie Kleiner was just 30 years old when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. came to Chicago in 1965, advocating for open housing. A speech at Soldier Field drew in thousands, and Bernie was one of them. And he brought his camera that was loaded with color film. It didn't even occur to me to shoot in black and white like the pros were doing but now I have something that nobody else has. His are some of the first color images of Dr. King ever seen by a largely black and white world back then. And they are now held in archives and in museums around the country. In those days, there was really no security. So I could get close to Dr. King, as, as close as you and I, and to photograph him. And no one said, you know, you can't be here you can't photograph him. Uh, so I was able to get photographs that I never thought possible. Those moments spurred that young man into his passion to help. He came to Chicago to talk about uh, what, he, what he called then open housing. We call fair housing now. And so uh, for 40 years, I was director of a fair housing center trying to continue his work and so I have a lot to uh, uh, be thankful for from what Dr. King taught me. This week, his life's work is being honored by the Law Center for Better Housing. Bernie has, uh, is really admired by those of us who uh, in the housing justice area, not only for his photography, but for his uh, passion for fair housing. For Bernie, who's nearing his 88th birthday this month, it is a life's work that began with these pictures. When I took them, my only hope was that they be in focus. <laughs> and now my hope goes beyond that. His hope is that his images seen around the country in museums carries a message of justice for a new generation. It's a reminder of, of who Dr. King was and the message that's still relevant today. Sean Lewis, WGN News. It's an incredible story. Beautiful yeah, photos, absolutely. beautiful story, yeah.